hello guys welcome back to chubby chemistry study so in today's video i'll be telling you guys what you need to do on the day of your jam exam what you need to do before you enter the hall and what you need to do as you are inside the hall this thing be like expo but calm down that's why you need to watch this video till the end so you don't miss any points i'll be telling you in this video so ensure to watch this video from beginning to end it's very necessary if because it's your first time of coming across this channel you know what to do you need to like this video and also hit that red subscribe button because that red subscribe button there you don't need to, you're not paying anything okay so let's get straight to the video you know you have just like seven to eight weeks to jump right now depending on when you'll be seeing this video okay so you have seven to eight weeks, eight, to eight weeks to jump so the main thing you guys most of you have, must have done your registration now so the next thing will be reprinting reprinting will be done one one to two weeks before jam okay so it's from that reprinting you'll be able to know your jam venue and also your your exam time make some of you will, uh, will be scheduled for 7 a.m some of you will be scheduled for 9 a.m some of you will be scheduled for 1 a.m 1 p.m depending on your own time make sure you get to your jam venue 30 minutes before your time 30 minutes before your time you know why they shout that because some of you will say or more the jam center day close to my house let me just chillax let me just chillax i'll go exactly by nine o'clock if you go there and some of so many things must have must have, must have gone wrong okay so that's why i said you have to be there 30 minutes before your exact time okay so once you get to that jam venue you, you know the first thing you need to do you know normally now you, you go the fear some of you will don't write jam before will be like oh i don't want to repeat jam again you know the first thing you need to do just search for any canteen around there Go buy better galan fanta or maybe better galan coke use and calm down use and just calm yourself down because obviously you'll be scared as per se na jam day okay so after you don't finish your gala and your drink you know the next thing you need to do just 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 screw around like that venue as you're scrolling around you will see so many people studying that is where you will see some people trying to prove say they study study People will not study for the past six months. You see them studying at that moment. They want to prepare you, and you yourself, you go go carry book, bring out, talk, say you won't study. Don't try that nonsense. Already, you don't already stress your brain throughout the night, obviously. Please, for that 30 minutes where you guys day before you enter the hall, don't study again. Don't study again because that will even increase the fear in you. Once you see this part where so you don't understand, you'll be like, oh, more, I've never studied this part. And then the, uh, the fear will increase. Please don't study in that 13 minutes. Leave those people where they deceive themselves. Talk to they study at that venue. The nonsense that they do. Okay, so once as you are screaming around, just find one or two people where they study. People where they stress themselves. Those people where could even play. Now them savvy pass. Make one or two friends. You understand? Make one or two friends. Those like I said, don't go and meet those people where they study. Those are the ones deceiving themselves. Go meet one of those people where they play, where they joke. Now them savvy. You know where you know there are two different people where they could they play. You, you get as you could look person, you know, say this one looks serious. Maybe you don't already study everything. And you get another person where you go see and you go think talk say this one never study anything. Just follow your mind. That person where your mind tell you say, Oh my this person don't study you and you just they play with people like this. So go meet that person, make friends with the person. And if luckily for you, if you stay with the person in the hall. Okay, now let me start with when you enter the hall. When you enter the hall, just try calm down. Don't enter the hall with fear. Obviously, it's normal to be a, to be scared, but just try anything possible to calm your fear down. Okay, so once you enter the hall, you are not starting immediately. They will have to wait for everybody to enter the hall before all of you will now start together. So when everybody is now seated, if luckily for you, the person, the friend where you make outside, he be the person where you go sit close to, and then the you know, that will even make you more happier and that will even calm you down. That's why I say you should make friends before entering the hall. Okay, so when everybody is now seated, they will now say, start. Please don't rush and start immediately. Everybody has 180 minutes. Everybody has 180 minutes. That means uh, everybody has 180 minutes to solve the four sub uh, solve questions on the four subjects. That means you have like 30, 30 minutes for each subject. So don't start immediately. Just wait for five minutes after other people don't start. You know, some people want to leave the hall immediately. Some people want proof say that them savvy pass. They want to solve rubbish and then leave the hall immediately. Don't be like, don't, don't be like them. Just calm down. After they don't say start, don't start immediately. Use that moment to be praying in your mind and then be observing your surroundings. Then after that five minutes, you can now start. 
now let, let's get to after you don't start the exam now let, let me tell you what you need to do start with the subject you know the best if for instance you are going for medical courses you know your subject combination will be chemistry physics biology and english if biology is your best subject or any subject is your best start with the one you know the best that's your best subject that's what i mean okay so once you st if you know like i said earlier each question you have to solve all the 40 questions in each subject under 30 minutes you know english has 60 questions then the three remaining has 40 questions you have 30 minutes 30 minutes 30 minutes 30 minutes for each of them so if biology is your best subject try solve biology questions under 15 minutes i mean and then use the remaining 15 minutes and add it to your physics time you know physics it has to do with calculations use the remaining physics uh, 30 uh, 15 minutes add it to your, your solving time for physics you know, that's why I said you should start with the subject, you know, the best. And now when you get to that physics or maybe that math, please, if there is a particular topic or maybe if there is a particular question, maybe you have seen it in past question and you have tried it first time, second time, you're not getting the answer, please leave it immediately and go to the next question, please. This, this is what happened to me in my last, uh, I told you guys I took jump twice if you have been watching my videos. For, like I told you guys, I will always be giving you guys updates and also I will also, also be directing you what you need to do and what you need not to do to you take your jam. That's why you need to subscribe. So if you have not subscribed by this time, you know you are doing something wrong. Okay, so this is what happened to me when I took my second jam. My first, okay, it wasn't my first jam or my second jam, I can't remember. But there's this particular question I saw. The question was on, on radioactivity. And I've seen that question, that particular question in past question while, well, while I was studying past question. The past question, the, uh, um, the question has to do with half-life. So I come to solve first time, come to solve second time. I wasn't still getting the answer. I said to myself, truly, you have seen this question before. You must get the answer before you move on to the next question. And I wasted almost like 10 minutes or eight minutes, um, five to eight minutes solving that particular question. And then do you know what happened? Even in, in spite of that five to eight minutes of trying to get that answer, I still didn't get that answer. I now have to pick random answer after wasting five to eight minutes or more. That thing messed up my exam because I didn't have uh, uh, much time again to answer my English. And I now have to start picking random answers. That's why I said, please, even if you study a particular question, or if you know you have studied that particular topic and you see the question, and you want to make sure you get the answer to that question, please spend nothing less than two minutes in that question. Once you don't try um, first time, second time, and not getting the answer, please leave it immediately and go to the next question. Time management is very important in JAMP. If you don't manage your time very well in JAMP, there is no way you will pass because you have to finish all the questions and you have to solve all the questions for you to be sure that you are passing that JAMP. So be very fast. Be very fast. That's why those of you that are that are offering math, chemistry, and physics. That's an advantage to uh, ask students. They are not solving anything unless those, those of them that are taking math. That's the only calculation subject they will be meeting there. And then also, there is this thing you guys always do. You still have seven to eight weeks to jam, please. If you have not started studying your English, please start studying it now. I didn't study English during my own time. And for the twice that two times I wrote jam, English was my lowest. English was my lowest in each of them. You know why? Because I, do, I know they always take English serious. English, if you, if you run you down, or if you get 78, 80, uh, 70 for chemistry, physics, and biology, and come get 46 for English, it's possible. Please start studying your English now. Some people will be like, why would he tell us to start five minutes after other people have started? Let me tell you, everybody has 180 minutes. 180 minutes to, for their exams. And this is not like why they will be telling you after two hours, they will collect everybody's paper immediately. No. Just wait for that five minutes. That five minutes will not cause any harm. That, that means additional five minutes to the end of the exam. So that is it. So it will not cause any harm. So in that five minutes, other people must have started leaving the hall. Just calm down. Use that period, the smile, the, the go through your questions again. No need for rushing. They will have to wait for you. This is not like why they will collect everybody's paper. They will wait for you to finish your exam before. Uh, you, now your system go using hand, run down safe. So, and it's not your must for you to click submit. No. Once your system run down, your answer don't already save. Like it's auto save, so you don't need to click submit. Even if you don't click submit, no worry yourself. The answer, your answer will still submit. You understand. So that is it for this video. If you gone this, if you went this path with me in this video, and you never subscribe, you know, say the do wrong thing. So don't forget to like this video and also subscribe. I love you guys. See your boy, Judy.